Hi, in this video, I want to show you a couple of examples of using nested data sources or as we also call it, parent child data sources. In the first use case, I'm going to uh, replicate this table for each opportunity and then I'm going to uh, replicate this row for each uh, product opportunity product linked to that opportunity. Let's take a look at the data sources first. We have a data source here that selects all the opportunities related to a certain account. As you can see, it's a very simple data source that we've created via the Sockle Builder. And we select the account ID, the opportunity ID. That's important because that's uh, what's going to link our child data source to its parent, the name of the opportunity and the amount. Next to that, we also have a data source that will select all the opportunity products. Let's take a look. And here you already see that there is a parent data source. The parent data source is set to the, upper, uh, to the data source we have just looked at. And we have set some grouping fields and a parent query field. Okay, how does that work? So in our SOCO builder, we have just set with the filters that there is an opportunity ID of the parent and the opportunity ID of the uh, uh, current data source, so the child data source, is linked to each other. If they are linked on other fields, uh, they don't have to be the same field. They can just be different fields as well. But in this case, the labels of both the fields are called opportunity ID. So that makes it easy to link them together. As you can see over here, these are the API names of the fields. Actually, the grouping field, that's the field on the child data source, is called opportunity ID. And the field on the parent, which is the opportunity uh, object, is actually called ID. Again, the label both is opportunity ID. Cool. So that makes our uh, data sources uh, that we have now created. And now we have also put them into our Docker config already. Let's take a look back at the document. In the document, I want to identify this table. Let's identify it with this merge field opportunity name. Let me just refresh this page. Okay, I'm going to um, upload my template. Okay, and now I'm going to start adding. Uh, so this one is going to be the data source. It's going to be of type table that we first have to do. Then the data source is going to be uh, oppor all opportunities. The merge field was opportunity name. And I want to have an, uh, uh, a single spacing between the two tables. Okay. I don't want to remove the merge field because the merge field I'm going to actually use to print out the opportunity name. Cool. Let's now go to this uh, config type, create a new child. And here in this new child is going to be the name, obviously. And the merge field is going to be opportunity name. Okay. The name was populated it automatically. And I can just say, okay, and new because next to the name, I also had the opportunity amount. So I'm going to select the amount field. I want to have some, some formatting and I'm going to do opportunity amount. Okay. So that's our table together with our two uh, config types for the um, opportunity data. Let's save this already. And then let's take a look at the generation. You will see that uh, it now has replicated each table, as you can see over here, for each line uh, of, uh, um, of opportunity, uh, together with the uh, amount of that opportunity. Next step is that I want to have the child data source replicating for this row. Cool. Let's get this done. Uh, what I've done here is I have uh, put everything to the next page. So I'm going to save this one and then I'm going to upload the document again. Just to make sure I have the latest changes. Okay, cool. So as a child of our table data source, I'm going to say that I want to add a table row. 
and the table row is going to be on data source opportunity products and the merge field is going to be uh, product name okay so that's how i want to set this up and now i'm going to create some new childs for for instance the uh oh, sorry, the, for instance the uh, the product name that's the uh, uh product name okay and new then i can set the quantity um no formatting for now okay and then i want the quantity okay so i can do the quantity like this so that there is no uh, uh decimals okay and new and then i want the total price and that's then gonna be the price total price okay let's save it's already saved so now i can go to my uh, account and let's take a look and indeed, now I see that my table is being replicated for each opportunity and the row is replicated for each product linked to that opportunity. You see that there are opportunities that don't have any products and we nicely remove the row as you can see right here. So that's step one. That's, uh, take, that's using a table to replicate and a row within that table to uh, also replicate for the child data source. In the second example, I also want to uh, repeat, I want to repeat this row, so not the, not the entire table, uh, because then we would have a spacing in between, but the row, and in this row, I want to repeat a paragraph, as you can see right here. So let's see uh, how we can set that up. Uh, let's go back to the uh, configuration page. Here I can just say add config type. I want to do a table row. The data source is going to be my opportunities. The merge field was my opportunity name too. Okay, this one. And that's step one. Now, again, I'm going to real quickly add the, uh, the opportunity name. Opportunity name too. And I also had the amount probably. So... Let's go currency amount, uh, amount two. Okay, so that's going to be uh, the table that we're going to replicate. That's already safe. Uh, we can quickly test it and then uh, see that uh, the table will be replicated. So this is now on page two. Indeed, this is now replicating the table. And next step is we want to replicate the products, uh, but then on the paragraph. Okay. Let's take a look. So now as a child of my table row, I say, okay, I'm gonna uh, go for a paragraph conflict type. I will use my opportunity products. And now I'm gonna have in my documents a uh, product name to merge field. And that uh, is how what I want to link. So that will re now replicate the um, the paragraph or the bullet point or the numbered list or anything that you want because all of that is replicated by a paragraph, uh, but it doesn't print out the product name. So I have to add an extra child here of type single to print out the product name. And then uh, this is gonna be a, a product name two. Okay, that's it. That's how easy it is to set this one up. Now let's test it. Okay, let's go to the second page. And indeed, now I have nicely my opportunity products and I have the list of, uh, uh, sorry, my opportunities and the list of products uh, linked to each opportunity. Okay, in this next example, we're going to again repeat the uh, um, the row, or sorry, we're going to repeat the table here. Um, and then for in this table, we're going to have to repeat this row, as, uh, not to repeat the row, but we're going to actually repeat the paragraph here. And then let's make this paragraph maybe a numbered list. Yeah, 
Okay, and then you will see what happens here is that we have the the, uh, the name type uh, products, so the label for the products, and then next to that we will have the list of products nicely printed out. Okay, let me save my changes. Go back to the configuration screen. Upload my document again because I uh, changed the layout of the document. And then continue with the configuration. So step one is I'm going to use opportunity name tree to identify my table. So this is going to be a table config type. The data source is going to be all opportunities. The merge field is going to be opportunity name tree. Um, and I want to have a single spacing in between. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to add again the uh the name of the opportunity so that's opportunity name three and we also gonna add the amount of the opportunity that is uh amount three normally okay so everybody already knows how this will work the next step is that on this this table we're gonna create a new child of type paragraph and we're going to set the uh, um, the data source to use the products data source. So that's the child data source here. Then we're going to indicate the uh, uh, product name tree that we want to use. So let's do product name tree. Um, and that, okay. And then we're going to create a new child for the single to print out the name of the upper of the product. And this is also going to be on product name number three. Okay, so let's see. Save the server, no errors. Let's test this. And then on page three, I uh, should ni nicely see the overview of all my products, the numbered list here, as you can see. Okay, this numbered list does not start from zero every time, but uh, that's easily changeable. And of course, we're going to remove the paragraph nicely when there is no data. In this last example, uh, I want to repeat this table. And then in this table, I want to repeat these two columns, uh, these two rows, I mean. Now, when you want to combine uh, rows, you have to use a rows controller. You can just go to developer in your uh, Word, uh, select the two uh, rows as you can, as I do here, and then click this one, repeating section content control. Okay, now we have a content controller and that we can use to say, okay, we want to replicate these two rows every time there is a new product linked to our opportunity. Okay, I'm going to save the document. Then I'm going to upload the document again in the configuration. And then I can start the configuration of this setup. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to repeat a table. Then in this table, I'm going to take the opportunities. The merge field was uh, opportunity name four. Okay, then it's going to be single spacing like this and then again we're gonna now set the name of the opportunity opportunity name four and then we can just also add the amount Am amount four okay and now again what we're gonna do is create a new child but now the child is gonna be of type a rose controller as you see over here uh, we of course going to set it to the uh, child data source, the opportunity products. The merge field is going to be our product name four. Okay, and that's it. So now I can just say again, filling all the fields by saying I want the name, product name four. Uh, I want the quantity custom formatting this one then I have quantity for okay and last but not least I want to have the total price and that's going to be total price for okay let's save this one and then let's do our final test 
the document is created. So all of the examples and on the last page, we now see that we are nicely replicating this table for each opportunity. And for each uh, opportunity product, we are replicating these two rows thanks to the uh, rows controller.